Oh, wait. <gasps> this has information, and she's somebody I want to know more about. Who are you? It's a Sunday morning, and Della Kostelnik Juarez is doing one of her favorite things shopping for old photos to see if any of them speak to her. Ah, here we go. Della's favorite type of historic photos to work with are called cabinet cards. Cabinet card photos are larger. They're about five by seven, about. And they got their name because people would place them in their cabinet and show them off to people. This is Rosa. One of the reasons I like cabinet cards is because it has the name of the photographer and the location and often the address, which gives me a clue. When I turn it over, here's something that's very important to me. It has a name and she put down Kentucky. Della finds the old photos at vintage stores, flea markets, and garage sales. She has helped dozens of people reunite with photos of their relatives. Offering a picture of a relative um, is not a usual thing. Charles Betts of Minnesota wasn't quite sure what to think when Della reached out to him online after she found a photo of one of his relatives. Of course, immediately, you know, it's like, wow, how, how do you have this? <laughs> I just loved the look on her face and prayed that there was some identifying information. Her handwriting is on the back of it. It's terrific. Every time I pick up one of these photos, I know that they held it. It's powerful. And it goes far beyond photos. Della helps people who were adopted find living relatives through DNA. She approaches this work with an open mind, full of compassion and without judgment. After looking at the paper trail, I look at the history nationally and regionally, and then I look at the isms. How might have sexism and racism played a part in this person's life? When I hit a roadblock on the investigation, sometimes that's the place where I can, if I can find a story, I can break through that wall and figure it out. Give him a big hug for me. Breaking through roadblocks and dead ends is exactly what Della did for her good friend Kathy who was one of the first interracial adoptees in the United States. I was born in August 1956 to a white mother and a black father who I don't think knew about me. Um, and they took me from the hospital to foster care um, and was there for nine months. And then I was adopted by a white family. Della wanted to help Kathy find her biological relatives right away, but something held Kathy back for many years. I know that there are people who understand what I'm saying. If they've been adopted, you bury it. You go on with your life. And I will be honest with you, when I've done some soul searching recently about why I didn't pursue this really strongly, it's because I'd already been rejected. In my mind, I'd been rejected. I was given away. And I didn't, I wasn't ready to be rejected again. After Kathy's parents died, she let Della know she was ready to restart the search. Della helped Kathy find a brother in Oregon. How do I explain it? Almost like looking into the mirror. Not that we look alike, but I was looking finally at uh, someone who was me. When I wrecked my car and I was embarrassed to tell him, he said, I'm your brother, you're supposed to call me. And I still do, I, mean, I call him, it's, I call him now. I call him for nothing or for everything. I love him so much. Overall, I do it because somebody totally unrelated who didn't know my great grandmother, her name was Della, by the way, happened to have a photo and they took the extra step to reach out to me and give it to me and I know the joy I felt and how significant that is for me. I'm a researcher, I'm an investigator, I'm a historian, I'm a genealogist. This is something I can do easily. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> nice to finally meet you. This is the first time Della and Alvin L.A. Horn have met in person, but they feel like old friends. Della has been helping Alvin with his mission to find his biological father. He had been told that a certain person who raised him 
uh, as a child was his dad. Turns out it wasn't. Then he thought it was a different person, and it wasn't. But finally, after many years of searching, a breakthrough. I look at who do you share DNA with, who do you share the most DNA with, and then try to put people together. Where were you living? Is the timing right? And and follow that path. This discovery not only helped him learn who his father was. He actually lived two blocks away from my mother. I know where the house is. I walked by it as a child. It also helped him discover he has a lot of siblings. Come to find out I have 12 brothers and sisters. Unfortunately, Alvin's father died in 1975, so he didn't get the chance to meet him. But he does have a better understanding now of where he gets some of his talents, like athletics, music, and writing. Come to find out that Langston Hughes is a third cousin. Well, I don't know if that filtered into me, but I'm gonna claim it. And whether it is in-person family reunifications or historic photos finally being returned to relatives, the work Della is doing is truly changing lives and bringing families closer together. If you've got people to talking about, well, we've got to get together and do a little family reunion this summer. I, I broke down and cried like a baby because it's, I didn't think I was going to find out. I always thought it would be a mystery. So many African-American families who, you know, look at the records, we had none. You know, you go back to slavery, our names were the slave owners names and, and for her to put so much effort and time and heart and love into finding our roots there needs to be more people like you Della Watch City Stream Tuesday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or find us anytime online at seattlechannel.org.